big head, big bone, big, 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 small dog with big everything. With, and, and, and quiet dogs are usually not aggressive and they're usually quiet and they're not really barkers, which is great for some people which like that. Um, they originally were bred in Wicklow, which the Glen of Amara is in Wicklow. Mm -hmm. And it was during the time of the 1798 rebellion when Queen Elizabeth <coughs> was trying to catch some of the rebels in there. But there was no roads in those days and they just go back into the mountains and then the soldiers would come in with their heavy armor and all. And these guys would come down very lightly clad with their short daggers and, and back up again. So. Um, because she couldn't get any of her own soldiers to do it, she got some French mercenary soldiers, Hessian. There was a Hessian gang of mercenaries in France, and she got them over to come over to go in and tackle these guys. Uh, as it turned out, half of them just liked the place so much that they stayed. And uh, they interacted with the local community. And it's thought that probably the Petit Basset Van de Green, they brought with them the low slung Basset type uh, hounds, and that they interbred them with local dogs, uh, and that we came eventually up with that. Now, nowhere in anywhere in history can I see that it's mentioned that there is any Irish wolfhound in them. <laughs> I believe there is. <laughs> I believe it's a wolfhound with no legs. <laughs> <laughs> because their head is so massive, and their coloring is the same, and their coat is the same. You get the same colorings as a wolf and the same coat, with the exception of white. But other than that, you get the same. And when you look at them, they give you that same kind of attitude. So I don't know how they managed it now. It was a petite basset and a wolf. Hound. But um, also, they're, they're mentioned. <laughs> this is a thing they do, actually. <laughs> so they also are mentioned in, um, in mythology in Ireland. And as you know, Ireland is famous for fairies and, and uh, leprechauns and God knows what. And the uh, fairies, some of them were supposed to ride on, on small dogs and they had harnesses on them going around the glens. And some of our old children's rhymes all refer to this. And this is just uh, one to give you a feel for that about the Glen of Amal. And, about, and it's a poem by William, William Addington called The Fairies. Up the airy mountain, down the rushy glen, we daren't go a-hunting for fear of little men. We folk, good folk, trooping all together. Green jacket, red hat, and a white house. Uh, down the rocky shore, some wake their home. They live on crispy pancakes of yellow tide foam. Some in the reeds of the black mountain lake, with frogs for their watchdogs all night awake. High on the hilltop, the old king sits. He is now old and grey, he's nigh lost his wits. With a bridge of white mist, Columbville he crosses, on a stately journey from Sleeve Rue to the Rosses. Or going up with music on cold starry nights, <laughs> to sup with the queen and the gay northern lights. By the craggy hillside, through the mosses rare, they have planted thorn trees for pleasure here and there. If any man so daring as dig them up in spite, he shall find their sharpest thorns in his set at night. Up the airy mountain, down the rushy glen, we daren't go hunting for fear of little men. We folk, good folk, trooping all together. Green jacket, red cap, and a white house hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then just to follow up on the essence of the glen. It's all about size and attitude. It really is. The top line, I know, level or straight or whatever. That goes on and on, the, the debate about that. It's not a roachy top line, or it's not rising over the line like you would with a dandy or any of those. It's supposed to be straight. Whether it's straight at an angle or straight at a lower, it doesn't matter, but it's supposed to be straight. Okay? So that's it. It can be at an angle, and it usually is, because the heavier front is in the bone and the slightly bowed front on the boots. I say slightly, some of them are more than slightly. But the slightly bowed front means their, their working attitude, their hind quarters would be that bit higher. But they're not kind of, there's no kind of, there's no roaching over them. It's a solid thin back. And good substance in the bone is very important. It is a nice dog. Thank you. So that's him.